The enchanting Munnar Valley in the Western Ghats in Kerala is a major landslide prone area of India. The region has recorded several fatal landslide incidents in the past. But thanks to scientific interventions and community awareness, the risk from the natural disaster has been reduced to a greater extent. This has been made possible due to the installation of early warning and monitoring system developed by the Center for Wireless Networks and Applications of Amrita University, which has been working towards reducing landslide risk. This is the world's first Internet of Things landslide monitoring and early warning system based on the machine learning and artificial intelligence integrated system and has been designed in collaboration with administrative authorities, disaster management agencies and the community. The system has been developed and first deployed in the year 2009 in the Western Ghats in Munar in Kerala. So today we have more than 150 sensors in Munar and by seeing the success of the Munar deployment, government has asked us to deploy in Sikkim. So we also have a deployment in Chantmari area in Sikkim where there is more than 200 sensors are deployed in, 200, uh, in 32 hectares of land. And in this deployment what is making it most important is it's the early warning factor because it's easy for you to actually monitor or detect but how can you early warn and save the life real-time landslide monitoring and early warning system uses many sensors installed in landslide prone areas these sensors collect real-time data on the quantity of rainfall soil water infiltration moisture content and soil surface movements this data is then sent to field stations using the cable network, broadband network, long-range Wi-Fi or satellite network. This data is then transmitted from the field stations to the central control room at Amrita University, where it is automatically analyzed by algorithms using artificial intelligence before being sent to state agencies. State disaster management agencies issue the information after classifying it according to the risk assessment at the regional level, allowing local administrations to formulate a course of action. One of the major challenges which we see in the society is when you disseminate warning, how will the people be able to take the action? That is the first thing Amrita has also addressed where before the monsoon comes in itself, we have several times there is a community engagements. In the community engagement, we train them like a monsoon starts based on this warning, what they have to do as the next action. So before the monsoon comes itself, get ready, pack the bags, what you need, etc. And if you have to move to a different place. Next is the first level warning comes, this is what the meaning is. It's, second level is this is one. so the community knows that each warning what action but the current disaster management rule says that any warning can be issued by only the state authority as part of management of this system communities were taught how to identify changes in the slopes during monsoon time they were also trained in interpreting the meaning of the warnings issued by the department at the local level, the information is shared using mediums like WhatsApp groups. This has not only helped people take precautionary measures, but is also making them feel safer. Ever since the system was installed, there has been no fatal incident in the region. Since the installation of first system in 2009, sensors at six sites have been installed in the region. On the basis of its success in this region, it is now reaching other states too. The warning system is a prime example of successful intervention of science and technology with public awareness.